All right, hello everybody. I am en route to Butte, America as we speak, so obviously uh, not exactly following the drive safety rules here. Uh, Billing Central Laurel Girls set to tip off around 8 o'clock at the Butte Civic Center tonight in the State A Championship. Really looking forward to that matchup. The two teams have met four times this year. Billing Central has won two of those, including the semifinal matchup at the Eastern A Divisional. Now, obviously, the matchup coming into this game that everybody's looking forward to, Billing Central's Ali Lucas versus Laurel's Jade the Fever. Those two, and they go back and forth and they battle. It's a really fun battle to watch. Always entertaining basketball between those two. They both had fantastic seasons. Lucas, I think, has been probably one of the best players in Class A. She she rebounds, she scores, she defends, she passes, she does everything well. She had nine steals in the Rams' first round win at the state tournament. The Fever, I think, has probably been the most consistent player in, in the Eastern A. She scored double digits in almost every game this season. She had a big game in the first round of the state A tournament as well, knocking down a bunch of threes for the locomotives. Those two, along with the other guards, Sammy Elliott for, for Billing Central, Emily Smarsh, uh, Leslie Gappa for Laurel. Those obviously going to be some key matchups there. They're definitely going to have their impact on the game, but I think the key tonight is going to be the big girls to play in the paint in the key. Uh, Justin Jewell has been playing better as of late for Laurel. She's uh, somebody with a lot of potential, um, and she has started to play better. I thought she was very, very good in the in the Eastern A Championship against Harden. I think she scored 24 24, 25 points in that game. Really dominated that game. You could feel her impact there. So she could have another big game tonight. Laurel, the big girls, I thought when they played Harden in the challenge game, I thought their big girls played pretty well there too. Abby Lohoff is the one that stuck out to me, the freshman. When I talked to Amber Griffith at the beginning of the year, she had mentioned Lohoff has a ton of potential. And we might be starting to see that come to fruition a little bit as her and Delana Christensen and Bailey Love and the likes are playing pretty well down low for Laurel, obviously. Um, both teams are playing well to get to the state championship. So there's going to be a lot of intriguing matchups there. Obviously, Lucas Lefevre, we know what we're going to get there. We can expect a battle out there, and those two are going to have their impact on the game. But I think the difference could be who's, who plays better in the key, in the paint. So look for those big girls to have a big-time impact on tonight's game.